This is like extracurricular activities for myself, so I can shine. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. This shotgun's brutal. Get that. I love for Cardio. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, clown. Welcome back to some more breaches, and today we're going to be comparing the only two shotguns in the game, and we're going to be seeing which is the better one and which one you should run in game. So, without further ado, let's start off with the Knut. Yes, that is the official name of the gun. I can't. <laughs> Okay, with the silly joke out of the way, the shotgun is fun to use, as this shotgun is built for more longer range engagements, so close to mid range engagements is where you want to be using this thing. The shotgun benefits from having a tighter pellet range for longer range shots, but is balanced out by a slower rate of fire. You may be thinking, that's not a bad list, I mean only one con. Yeah, let's get to the attachments. The Canucks cannot have a grit, a suppressor, or extended mags. The first two are pretty big in my opinion, not having extended mags only means you have five rounds, and without a grip, the recoil is going to be a bit more heavier so you're gonna have to take your time between shots as well as the slower rate of fire but also the cannot is a seven pellet round shot every shell is gonna fire seven pellets the spreadsheet someone has made that i've only found this in discord so if you know who made this please tell me because i'd love to give this guy credit because this the sheet is really really goddamn good but with this damage sheet the cannot deals nine damage per pellet for a limb shot so if you land all seven pellets in someone's leg let's say you in theory you should do 63 damage that bitch I'm not seeing anyone right here. I mean, he's right here. He's right here. He is. I mean, I don't live in America. No, I missed. Whoa. Let's move on to the Urken. The Urken is your typical fast firing shotgun, delivering high damage at close range. The Urken has a large pellet spread, but used correctly in a close range situation, it is devastating. Unlike the Knut, the Urken can actually have a grip, so firing this thing fast is really useful with the grip. The Urken also has a higher magazine with seven rounds. If you go back to our damage sheet, the Urken deals three damage for a limb shot, but has 13 pellets. So in theory, landing all the pellets on a limb shot will deal 39 damage. That is a lot lower than the Knut, but you've got to remember that this thing fires a lot faster. He's going. Can he hear us? No. Let's go. Delicious. Got him. Hate like nothing. Let's go. So which one's better? Well, I'm gonna hit you with a dilemma here. It doesn't matter. I've made this video with the information I found out, and it's up to you to pick which one aligns with your playstyle. Both shotguns are great in their own right. I personally have had enjoyment with both weapons. I find them both really, really good. It just depends on how I'm gonna play this round out and what my team are doing. That's how I think about what sort of weapon I'm gonna pick, especially between the shotguns. But the Knut's better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I had some real good fun making this video. Uh, going over stats and all that sort of stuff. It's really fun. If you want to see this for another category of weapons, please let me know. I would love to cut the pistols, SMGs, or rifles. Thank you for watching to the end. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll be back next week with another breach video.